Good afternoon, you join me in South London, more specifically Waterloo, where today Waterloo Classics is happening. It takes place on the first Saturday of every month, it's my first time here. I've been told it's pretty good, so let's see what it's all about, shall we? This Al Romeo spider has just turned up, looking very nice indeed. Classic white with the black leather, very nice indeed. Autumn focuses are playing up once again. So it looks really nice, just look at that classic, elegant shape. That is simply gorgeous, don't you agree? Sure. Now this is quite possibly the largest car here, it's a Bentley, I'm not too sure which model. Could it be an old Malzahn? I'm not too sure, but just look at how long it is. It's difficult to describe how vast this car is. It's just absolutely massive. It's got a massive steering wheel as well, which you can just about see um, because of the reflection. And look, look at the lever, just look how plush that looks. That's so, so nice. That is VIP driving right there. Now I really like this Fiat 500. I love the flared wheel arches. It looks absolutely fantastic, and it just looks so so stubby. But I kind of like it. Now if we go back to the rear, just look at these exhaust pipes. Just look at these tips. These look absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I don't know why, but I really like this uh, little 500. It just looks absolutely fantastic. So over here, you appear to have the roadster section because you've got an MGA here, you've got an Alfa Romeo Spider over here, a very, very nice Jaguar C-Type over here, and over here, you've got a very quaint MGB, which looks quite nice in this navy finish. Uh, it does look black, but it is navy. Black leather seats, very nice indeed. I am rather partial to a gentle interceptor because A, it's got a cool name, B, it looks great, and C, it's just a fantastic car, and I never get tired of seeing it. This one in black looks absolutely mental, it looks like a real British brute. Now as well as a Fiat 500, we also have an Abarth 595, the original 595. And just look at how much smaller it is compared to today's car. And the 595 of today is like a massive car, but just look at how steady this car is, just look how cute it looks. Compared to the static next door, if I come this way, it's like quite a big car, and it's just compared with the little 5 is such a dilly little car. So far then, there's some pretty cool cars here. Uh, and I think there's more to come because it started at 12, not too sure what time is now, but it goes until 4 o'clock. Uh, absolutely wonky. Um, so yeah, the time now is just gone uh, 10 minutes past 1. 
so there's still plenty of time, plenty more time for uh, more cars to come of course, so uh, let's see what else turns up shall we? I'm not a massive fan of 911s, but this classic one in white with black alloy wheels looks absolutely fantastic. I'm a big, big fan of the old Fuchs alloys, so they just look fantastic. Can't see them too well because it's a little bit dark, but they just look absolutely fantastic. Let me get a little bit closer. So we've had a few other cars turn up, so we've got a Ford Cortina looking very nice in a kind of purple colour. Very bright uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Another Jensen Interceptor, believe it or not. Again, looking absolutely fantastic. And we now also have a cab van. So it's quite nice and it's kind of baby, is it baby blue, sky blue? It's, a, it's an interesting colour. On camera it looks like a sky blue, but in real life it's got a, a, a hint of a green in it but still very nice nonetheless. Now there are some definitely, and there's definitely some interesting cars here, but I think the prize for the best car has to go to this Jaguar C Type because it is absolutely fantastic. By the looks of it, it's been used for racing, which makes this car even more legendary. Finished in, in um, British Racing Green, which I must confess looks a bit more like black um, on the camera, but in real life it is very much British racing green and it is very much fantastic every single millimetre of this car is simply wonderful well, I think it's about time for some lunch So as I was having lunch, look what pulled up behind me. So I was just sat over there and this just literally pulled up behind me. And it made a rather nice noise, as you can probably imagine. Fantastically devilish looking black bull mustard. Just to say, this is a bulk mini. Just look at this paintwork, it is ridiculous, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a really cool looking mini. Yeah, go on, sir.
So there we have it guys, uh, the cars are starting to go now, the weather looks like it's going to turn for the worst, so I think it's probably a good time in which to make a move. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you did give it a thumbs up, if you haven't done already please subscribe, but until the next time I'll see you soon, take care.